Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm so happy to see all of you here. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, my name is Konstantin, and uh, yesterday you had a chance to hear why Xamarin is so great. There were two talks <laughs> where you learned how to deal with that. So welcome to the dark side of Xamarin. <laughs> Uh, briefly about me. I've been doing mobile for the last eight and a half years. Uh, I started with Windows Mobile back in the days. Uh, now it's iOS, Android, Windows Phone, all in different combinations, mixes. Uh, I'm a big football and mobile applications fan, and by accident I'm also co-organizer of this conference. So if you have any feedback, uh, suggestions, I'm all yours. Just grab me after the talk. Uh, I'm working on this, in a small company. we based in Oslo, Bergen, and Guadalajara. We have pretty much one product called Footmob. Uh, we have somewhere around 11 million of installs. So we featured by Google, Apple, and we are doing quite good so far. Beautiful. So we love football, and it's a requirement for the job. And as you can guess, we are using Xamarin. Despite the name of the topic, Xamarin is actually a pretty cool tool. You literally can have an application which uh, has millions of users. It really can solve your problems, and in many cases, that might be a solution. Unfortunately, not always. <laughs> Even though, why Xamarin? C Sharp is just great. It's modern, it evolves, it's just perfect language. It's so much better than Objective-C, and the application has been started uh, early days when Swift wasn't there, so uh, C Sharp was uh, so appealing, and uh, all code, su code sugar we have there, it's just great. It's fairly reliable, it's uh, fast, we have millions of users, uh, our rating is 4.7, so yeah, uh, people don't complain that much about performance uh, and bugs happen everywhere, so that's more or less fine. And by the way, how many of you installed our application for mobile era? Has anyone noticed that it's been written not natively? Okay, <laughs> not all of you at least. Uh, so yes, it's uh, absolutely fully written in Xamarin, uh, both iOS and Android, and as you can see, it works. And yeah, it's there, it solves the problem. They claim to have same-day support for new releases of uh, all major releases of iOS and Android, which is not always the case. But at least they have complete API coverage, which also might be not always the case, though. And yes, obvious benefit that it's cross-platform. You read once the common logic and you use it everywhere. Uh, in Windows uh, universal applications, in Windows Phone, in iOS, Android. And it really sounds like a perfect solution, but it's not. If we have to blame someone, first we have to blame ourselves, because in particular, it's a very subjective topic. It doesn't work for us, but it doesn't mean that it won't work for you. Why does it work for us? We are very UI-intensive application, so all our magic happens on the UI level. And uh, in summary, it makes sense if you have a lot of shared code which you don't want to rewrite many times. Unfortunately, all our data model is just small. Also, we started uh, as an Android-first application back in 2008. I wasn't there yet, but... Uh, it's been really a while, and in 2011, when cross-platform has been taking place with iOS and Windows Phone, it was definitely too late for us to rewrite application uh, from native to Xamarin, uh, and for Monodroid, it was definitely too early to have application of million users. Maybe it's early still. Second, yes, obviously, we have to blame Xamarin itself, because it's an extra layer between you and your user. And as a mobile developer, you already rely on I, uh, on Apple, on Google, and you don't want to have the third party to be in place, and uh, you don't want to depend on them. Obvious issue that you don't have all beauty of uh, mobile, modern mobile development. You don't have CocoaPods from Orta, you don't have J Central. Uh, you, Stack Overflow is just useless for you. It's not the site you go every day anymore. There is a forum, but uh, obviously you can't expect any fast reply. You, you just have all contacts of uh, lead Xamarin folks in your m Skype list or in every other uh, instant messenger, and it's just wrong because you're really scared that some of them would quit the company and you would lose them. <laughs> Surprisingly, there are bugs, and not only in iOS and Android, but also in Xamarin. And some, sometimes it just combines all together, it makes it even worse. Here is a small list of uh, bugs which we filed, or the ones which we struggled the most recently. For example, the first one. Suddenly we realized that all our German-speaking Swiss users just start experiencing crashing on the startup. Every time. Every time they open the application. And also Bosnians one, but we don't have that many of them. And uh, it took more than one month. It's, it's been 50 days while Xamarin rolled out the update which fixed the problem. 
so they fucked up uh, two, localization, uh, two locales, and there is nothing you can do with that. You just have to admit and leave with that. And uh, yeah, it's just bad. And there are 300 open bugs right now, and uh, no hope that they would be fixed anytime soon. Likely, you heard that Xamarin applications are really big, uh, and they actually are. Uh, here are our three last releases. Uh, first of them, being absolutely full in C Sharp, we had Watch OS 1.0 only support because Xamarin didn't support 2.0. Uh, today, extension and application. It weighed around 50 megabytes download size and around uh, 75 megabytes of uh, install size. Then we introduced 3 notifications, and we wrote them in Swift, and it's a different story how we managed to, to make this magic of combining two languages in one application. But then we saw that application size hasn't increased that much, and then we even rewrote today extension and add support of uh, WatchOS 3.0 and everything in Swift. And the total size of application shrinked, the download size shrinked by 20%, and we really hope that when we would be done, when we re rewrote the whole application, the core application, it would be significantly less, maybe 30%. Xamarin Studio, you don't want to work with that. It, <laughs> believe me, just, you don't. This is collage of uh, bugs happened to me last month. Um, yes, yeah, the top one. Uh, every time you open Xcode from Xamarin Studio and switch back to uh, Xamarin Studio, it crashes Xcode every single time. I just don't know how it's been tested, if it's been tested. <laughs> Microsoft, that's another point which I have to mention, and not because I've been working there for three and a half years. Acquisitions is always a risk. It might be a new Nokia. It might be a new Skype, which grew up after we acquired, they acquired them. Uh, and we don't know where it would go, because uh, Microsoft in general is getting more and more enterprise-focused, so likely Xamarin would be not consumer-oriented, but uh, more business-oriented tool going forward. So it's always a risk we have to take uh, in, in consideration, especially once we are a very consumer-oriented product. Windows Phone is dead. And if before we had a cross-platform, at least before we crossed two platforms, now we have cross-platform across one platform. And yeah, just, it's that. Apple, you have to think about uh, Apple and Google if you develop for mobile. Here is two dialogues we had this year with Apple. And you don't want to have them, just because none of them have been successful, as you can see. Same-day support doesn't mean that same-day the product is going to work. For example, WatchOS 2.0 has officially been released the same day uh, as it should, but it's been working only in simulator. It's never been released on the real working devices for Xamarin. Or uh, another way around, uh, the new 3D touch notifications, which has been released actually this summer. They've been released, API is there, it just don't work. So, status right now. We have rewrote basically all satellite of our application to Swift, uh, so all extensions can be written in Swift, and that's actually a really good big relief for us because otherwise the application size would be just dramatic and it won't work, and so on and so on. We are, are on the way to rewrite the whole application, so we are progressing. So we hope to be done uh, early next year. Uh, and free notifications still don't work in Xamarin. I checked uh, two weeks back, and yes. We are really happy. We've been featured first time by Apple after we adopted all new features of uh, iOS 10. And please don't miss my next year full-size talk about what's the outcome of this progress, because it's, it's literally work in progress. <laughs> yeah, don't hesitate to add me in LinkedIn, uh, follow me on Twitter, and write me an email. I don't think we have time for questions, but I'm here. Uh, just grab me after the talk if you have some questions. Yeah, thank you.